Hey guys, it's Shivan K here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I do a flat twist out on my fur natural hair. So if you're interested in this video, let's jump right into it. I'm going to be using Echo Styler for hold, Cantor Shea Butter for moisture and shine, Word of calls for definition and water for hydration to make the hair soft and manageable. You always want to start on washed and conditioned hair. I washed and conditioned my hair and left it in braids to air dry. So what I'm doing right now is patting down my hair into sections. I'm gonna go in with some water for hydration just so the hair is soft and manageable. This also makes the tangling and styling easier. And now I'm gonna go in with some styling gel and Cantusia butter and work that thoroughly into my hair. And I'm making sure that every strand is coated with the products. And now I'm spreading the hair with a little more water to make it easier to detangle. And now I'm coming through my hair to remove all nuts and tangles so that I don't end up with rough and bumpy twists. Okay, so to start the flat twist, I'm going to start with a small piece of hair, clamp it between my fingers, and I'm going to use my index finger and my thumb to pinch another piece of hair and twist it back and hold it with my other hand, and then release the piece of hair between my index finger and thumb to the front. I'm going to repeat the same process by holding and clamping this piece of hair between my fingers and using my index finger and thumb to pinch another piece of hair and twisting it back and holding it with my other hand and releasing the piece of hair between my index finger and thumb to the front. So we clamp the piece of hair, pinch another piece of hair, twist back and hold, then release the hair between the thumb and index finger. Clamp, pinch, Twist, hold, and release. 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 And as I go and I feel the hair is getting tangled, I go ahead and comb it out with a white tooth comb. And I'm gonna keep doing this until there is no more hair left to grab. Now that there isn't any hair left to grab, I'm going to continue it as a two strand twist. And with this two strand twist, think of it as strand A and strand B. So I'm taking strand A and wrapping it over strand B, and then taking strand B and wrapping it over strand A. And I just continue the process until there is no more new hair to grab, and it really gets easier once you get the hang of it. Okay, now that I'm done with the twist, I'm gonna go in with palm rose just so the ends of my hair come out well defined. And this is how the flat twist is looking. It's flat, beautiful, and juicy. Okay, now I'm gonna show you all one more time with this section. So I'm dumping my hair with water, applying leave-in conditioner and gel, and then combing it out. Okay, so I'm starting with a small piece of hair, clamping it between my fingers and using my index finger and thumb to pinch another piece of hair and then twist it back and hold it with my other hand and then holding the piece of hair between my index finger and thumb to the front. 
I'm gonna repeat the same process by holding and clamping this piece of hair between my fingers and using my index finger and thumb to pinch another piece of hair and twisting it back and holding it with my other hand and releasing the piece of hair between my index finger and thumb to the front. So we clamp the piece of hair, pinch another piece of hair, twist back and hold, then release the hair between the thumb and index finger. We clamp the piece of hair, pinch another piece of hair, twist back and hold, then release the hair between the thumb and index finger. And as you go, make sure to keep a strong hold onto the hair so that it doesn't come undone. And when I'm done with the flat twist, I roll the end on a palm rod. And this is how this side is looking, and I'm gonna flat twist the other side as well. Now that I'm done with the whole head, I'm gonna let the hair completely dry before taking down the twists. Cause when you take them down still with the twists come out frizzy and lack definition and we do not want that. It's the next day and my hair is completely dry. I tried jump starting the drying process using a hair dryer and I think I used too much heat and this happened. The palm rose deformed, they curled up, and I did notice that they were almost melting until I felt one of them kind of burning my neck. <laughs> so don't make the mistake I did. You either let your hair air dry or sit under a hooded dryer. So now I'm going in with this curled oil I made to moisturize my scalp and add shine to my twists. If you haven't watched a video on how I make this oil, I'm gonna leave the link in the description box down below. So now I'm starting by taking down the palm rod so that I can start taking down the twists. And now I'm unraveling the twists and being careful not to cause too much frizz and breakage and to also get my flat twist out nice and almost perfect like that. And the good thing about flat twists is that it automatically allows you to separate your twists without having to like go back and separate it as you would do with a two strand twist or braid out.
So this is how our flat cheese came out looking. And what I'm gonna do right now is pick out the roots with a pick. You can also use a white tooth comb. This adds volume to your twist outs and also cover up spots in your hair. To avoid frizz, do not comb all the way through your hair because also then you'll be undoing all your curls which have taken you such hard work to achieve. And this is the finished look guys. I was so surprised on how it came out. I mean, it's giving volume, it's giving sheen, it's giving everything that you'd like in your natural hair and it feels good too. And that's pretty much it for the video. Let me know what you guys think about this flat twist out in the comment section down below. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm gonna leave everything that I used in the description box as well. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.